Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Attorney Job Blogger, Law for the Everyday Layman. Today we take up part 11 on the law of sales and we'll talk about the rights and remedies of the buyer in case of breach of a contract of sale. Now if you like my videos and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Also, please remember that this is only for educational purposes and is not a substitute for proper legal advice or for studying and understanding the law. Okay, now let's talk about the rights and remedies of the buyer in general, meaning these rules apply whether the property is immovable or real or the property is movable or personal property. Okay, first, the buyer is entitled to receive complete delivery. In other words, the buyer is not bound to accept uh, delivery in installments. Okay. Unless, of course, the uh, delivery has agreed to be, was agreed upon by the parties to be done in installments, okay? If there is no stipulation, then the buyer is entitled to complete delivery. Second, the buyer has the right to examine the goods in order to determine whether the goods are in conformity with the contract. This right is subject to exceptions. First, if by stipulation the parties say that there is no right of examination, then uh, that stipulation will govern. Second exception is COD sales or collect on delivery. There is also no right of examination. To that case, there are exceptions also if uh, there is a stipulation or the usage of trade allows the buyer to examine the goods despite it being a COD sale. Okay? Third uh, general rule, the acceptance by the buyer of the goods or the thing no, will not discharge the seller from his breach of a promise or warranty. Okay, uh, In this case, the buyer, of course, has to give notice to the seller of, his, of the breach. No? As soon as, the within a reasonable time rather, no? within a reasonable time from the buyer, uh, the buyer's acquisition of knowledge of the breach. Okay? Fourth general rule, the buyer can, can uh, refuse to accept a wrongful quantity of goods, okay? Let's say uh, what was delivered is more or what is delivered is less, the buyer has the right to refuse that. The buyer can also refuse the, wrong, uh, the goods which are of a different description. Let, especially when uh, they are mixed with goods that are intended, no? So the buyer is free to reject that, okay? And finally, the buyer has the right or remedy of suspension of payments, okay? This uh, right or remedy of suspension of payments applies whether the property is immovable or movable, okay? Whether it's real or personal property, Okay, the suspension of payments uh, rule no, contemplates a contract which is not yet consummated, meaning that the buyer has not yet fully paid the price or has not paid at all. Okay, so uh, in this case, uh, the buyer is either actually disturbed in his uh, ownership or possession of the thing, or he has reasonable grounds to fear a disturbance in his ownership or possession. When I say disturbance, this refers to legal disturbance, not a mere trespass in law, okay? Because in case there is just a mere trespass, then the remedy of the buyer is to simply go after the trespasser, okay? So, uh, what is required here is a legal disturbance such as eviction no? or any other legal dis disturbance such as recovery through a vindicatory action or foreclosure. Okay, those are the situations contemplated by a disturbance, no legal disturbance. Okay, now in uh, this case, the buyer can only retain the price if there is a part of that price which he has not yet paid. In other words, if the buyer has fully paid, then there is nothing to suspend. Okay, so the buyer can only retain the price which has not yet been paid and he cannot recover that which has already been paid. Okay, now this right to suspend payment is not available in the following cases. First, if the seller gives security, no, whether it be pledge, mortgage, etc., any other security, if the seller gives a security for the return of the price. Second, if there is a stipulation, if the parties agreed no, that the buyer will still pay even if he is disturbed or there is a danger of disturbance in his ownership or possession. Okay? 
third case, if uh, the seller was able to make the disturbance or the danger of disturbance cease or stop. Okay? Fourth case, the, there is no suspension of payments in case of a mere act of trespass. I discussed that already. And fifth case, there is no suspension of payments in case the buyer has already paid the price in full. Because again, there is nothing anymore to suspend. Okay? Now, this right to suspend payments only exists while the disturbance or the danger of disturbance exists. Okay? Meaning, once the seller is able to make that disturbance cease or stop, then from the moment of such stoppage, the buyer must continue or resume payment. Okay? For an example on this, no, I discussed a, a good example on this in my video on obligations of the buyer. Please just watch that if you want uh, to hear the, exp the example. Okay? Now, let's go to some uh, special rules on immovables, okay? The rights and remedies of the buyer in case of immovable property. First, when it comes to subdivisions or property situated in subdivisions or condominiums or condominium units, the, the law tells us that in case the seller fails to develop the property, you know, the real property, according to the agreed upon plans or within the time limit, then the buyer can suspend payment. Okay? The buyer can stop paying if the seller does not uh, develop the property according to plans or within the time limit. Okay? Furthermore, there's any installment payment made by the buyer shall not be forfeited by the seller, okay, in favor of the seller, in case the seller, again, uh, does not develop the property according to the plans or does not uh, construct the property within the time limit, okay? Speaking of condominium units or uh, uh, subdivision or any other real property, in case the sale thereof is in installments, then the governing law is the Maceda Law or Republic Act 6552, okay? I have a whole video on that and for a deeper discussion please just watch that but uh, to name a few of the rights no the buyer in case of uh, sale of real property in installments is entitled to a grace period within which to pay after he has defaulted okay the buyer is also entitled uh, to uh, an uh, entitled to receive a notice of cancellation or uh, a demand for rescission by notarial act okay before actual cancellation of the contract can take place. In other words, if it's not by notarial act, then the contract is not yet actually cancelled and the buyer can still have the right to pay or reinstate the account by paying. Okay? Now, uh, in case the buyer has paid two or more years worth of installments, then the buyer is also entitled to a refund in what amount? 50% of the total payments made plus 5% for each additional year of payments after 5 years of payments but not to exceed 90% of payments 90% of the total payments made okay and there are two more rights the buyer can uh, pay any installment or even the full amount in advance huh, without any interest and finally, the buyer can uh, sell his rights or interest to the condominium unit or to the real property to anyone he so chooses as long as they are qualified under the law, okay? The final rule under uh, the rights and remedies of the buyer in immovable properties is the rule in Article 1592 of the Civil Code, okay? As a general rule, in case of breach of uh, contract, we apply 1191 no, on recession. In other words, if the buyer fails to pay, then the seller can ask for recession of the contract under Article 1191. However, huh, this one is important. Take note that there are special rules in uh, under Article 1592 which should apply in case of a sale of real property. Okay, that is an absolute sale. Okay, Bef the buyer is entitled to keep making payments, no, even after he has defaulted, as long as there has been no demand for rescission by the seller, whether judicial demand or notarial demand for rescission. Huh? 
So uh, the buyer can keep paying as long as there is no demand for rescission yet. Okay? Of course, the special rule under 1592 will prevail over the rules in 1191. But please take note that uh, 1592 only applies to absolute sales and will not apply to uh, sales on installment because Maceda law governs. It also will not apply to contracts to sell or conditional sales because those are not absolute sales. Okay, so those are the rules for immovable property. Let's now go to uh, the rights and remedies of the buyer in case of movable property. We discussed already earlier the suspension of payments and those rules also apply here in movable property. Uh, of course, the next remedy is the right to ask for specific performance or fulfillment of the contract Okay, in case the seller has failed to deliver the thing. Okay? The buyer can ask for specific performance or fulfillment. Now, what if uh, the seller has committed a breach of warranty? Okay? The following are the remedies of the buyer. First, the buyer can ask for recoupment, meaning that the buyer can accept the delivery of the goods and set up the breach either to reduce the price or to totally extinguish the price so he does not have to pay anything at all okay so that will depend on the circumstances of the case okay but recruitment will allow the buyer to accept the goods and either reduce or totally extinguish the price second the buyer can choose to accept the goods and file an action to claim damages third the buyer can refuse to accept the goods okay but he can also file an action for damages no he will refuse and instead he'll file an action for damages. And uh, fourth, fourth remedy, the, the buyer may rescind or ask for rescission of the contract and refuse to accept the goods. But in case he has the goods, he has now to return the goods or the thing and uh, maintain an action to recover the price. Because that is the necessary effect of rescission, if you will remember, the duty of mutual restitution. If he has received the goods, he must now return it in order for him to recover the price. Okay? Now, uh, there will be no rescission if in the following cases. First, if the buyer accepts the goods knowing of the breach of warranty and he did not protest. Okay? If he knew that there was a breach already of the warranty and he did not protest, of course, he cannot ask for rescission because he's already uh, stopped, no? Second, in case the buyer fails to return or uh, to offer the return of the goods, no? In the condition that they were at the time of delivery to him. Okay? Because, of course, in case of recession, I, I said earlier, there is a duty of mutual restitution and it must the thing must be returned in substantially the same condition uh, when it was at the start of the relationship. Okay? Now, what are the effects if recession is chosen? Then, uh, the buyer will cease to be liable for the price. He's no longer liable for the price. He can now return the goods to the seller and he can now recover the price. Furthermore, he can uh, the buyer, if he has possession of the goods, he can hold the goods as a bailey if the seller refuses to accept them. Okay, and finally, the buyer has a lien on the goods. Okay, he has a lien on the goods until he receives the recovery, the full recovery of the price which he has paid. Okay, now these remedies I mentioned earlier, no, the four ones are alternative, meaning the buyer can only pick one of them. Okay, they are alternative. Subject, of course, to the exception in 1191 when uh, specific performance has been chosen and it is no longer available, then uh, rescission may still be avail availed of after. Okay, now let's go to the next uh, remedy of the buyer. It talks about a uh, sale by sample or sale by description, okay? In case of sale by sample, then the buyer may ask for rescission of the contract or cancellation of the contract if the bulk of the goods delivered to him do not correspond to the sample which was uh, shown to him. 
Furthermore, in the case of a sale by description, rescission is also available if the goods do not correspond to the description. But what if the sale is both by sample and both by description? Rescission will be available if the goods do not correspond to both the sample and the description. It has to be both. Okay? So that's it for the rights and remedies of the buyer. Okay? Uh, reminder, please just uh, watch this in conjunction with my videos on the Maceda Law and the Recto Law. Okay? So uh, I hope you may have picked up a thing or two and I hope to see you soon. Bye!